Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hi, right, everybody. We are back to talk Love Island games. This is episode 11 of season one here, Love Island games for references this Sunday night, November 12th episode. Um, I thought a great episode, Brian. I think things are really starting to come to a head here. Uh, feelings are starting to get hurt. And we're bringing in three heavy bombshells this week. Uh, alumni that we are familiar with. We have uh, Courtney, Mike, and Carrington. Courtney from season four of U.S. Love Island. Um, Mike and Car- Carrington was uh, uh, season series two, of USA. two. And Mike was series six for yeah. um love island uk so yep. um three obviously very personable very attractive people and they make their presence felt right away there's an early make out game right brian it gets mm-hmm. to shake things up right away um they are the ones who get the priority power in the recoupling that we see at the end of the episode um and i felt like they all explored their options a lot so brian give me your vibe on the three bombshells and just kind of like their flow this episode um, Carrington, I, I liked him on his season. Like he mentioned it in the episode that he kind of got put down because he was playing the game, which I never really understood. Yeah. Um, I thought he was a cool character. Um, it's good to see him back. I mean, he doesn't look like he aged a lot. Uh, he was always like a hot commodity on his season. Um, Courtney, like <laughs> we covered that season. That was like the one we're probably most familiar with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, just like her voice is just, it gets the voice old really Thank cool. you. Yeah, and the laughing. Um, I'm mean, yeah, I didn't see that season or that series for Mike, but he seems like a funny dude, like, like definitely Mike. playing the game. And like, I, I appreciate that, that he's gonna like do what he wants. Um, really, my main takeaway, man, is like, is Johnny gonna be on House of Villain season two? Johnny's the best, dude. Johnny is, I, you, you could see it from like a mile <laughs> away, man. She, Courtney walked up, he like licked his lips when they showed him. I was like, this, yeah. oh no, I'm like, they don't do, they don't show camera shots for it you know just for shits right and yeah. like, mm-hmm. and as soon as i saw him pull her and he's like i'm just gonna be real with you i was waiting for you to come i'm like oh. i think he was lying though when he said that well i know of course he's yeah. lying but he was saying that you're hot like he's like you're the hottest person i've seen here you're like somebody i'm into i want to win a challenge you get to go to the hideaway like that's like what that's it like and he also wants to win this game, I think, and he th- thinks Courtney has got is got you know I think Courtney t- taller, longer than like Jess probably does make sense athletically, I guess. But the 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 reactions with Jess at the recoupling, he's just like he's no, I thought that was good, bastard. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, totally totally fair uh, reaction because he he is a piece of shit, calculated mofo. Yeah, uh, I mean. I, it's always you know it's a good episode when they leave on a cliffhanger in a recoupling like that's like their bread and butter and they're like we gotta we're gonna cliffhanger it yeah well even cliffhanger where they didn't even leave us with who did that person pick they left us with like oh no we'll let you seep on that decision we still have to do the rest of the recouplings but like i i was getting nervous that they were gonna cut away before they announced like who she picked and i was gonna be a little annoyed because i would have been i would have been itching Right. So, yeah, I am glad that we did get that resolution that we got to see an immediate reaction from Jess. <laughs> I mean, they literally showed him and jo- her and Johnny like talking right before that, you know, right before her, his conversation with Courtney and how he's like telling her, I really like you. It's like, I know. Yeah. He's a dog for that. sure. Didn't yeah. I mean, that. even Mike, the Mike selection, like we, I, I mean, they kind of were alluding that it could be Justine and Justine was ready to be like, oh, like, and Jack was like, oh, he's going to pick you and I'm going to do this. And I will say that the one thing that's kind of annoying is like, I was really worried that she was going to pick Kira. And I was like, this is starting to get stupid. I thought the same thing too. I didn't want to see, again, I have no problem with like the same sex relationships, but it's, it would have just felt like redundant, right? Like, yeah, because it'd be two, it'd be a couple times in a row where the new girl comes in and it doesn't matter to the guys. Yeah. It, yeah. It, that's a, the thing that's interesting with the show. We've always said it does mess with the numbers. And that's a relatively new, like, thing happening right like especially yeah i can't remember besides last year and also they just like in a side sentence he's like oh by the way megan's gone oh bye (laughs) yeah like what i thought that when the way i thought it was going to be like she's like oh she's sick and she had to leave to go to the hospital like i thought she would be coming back yeah so she's just done i think she's done i'm afraid to look anything up but like i'm pretty sure based off of like the way she was reacting and like 
I saw a couple of tweets. I was looking at the hashtag and people were like, oh, so she moved on quickly. And I was like, I guess she's gone. Dude, I like I watched the whole episode, too, and I didn't even like catch that. Like I was like, obviously I'm taking some notes on some other things, but like that shows how much time they dedicated to it. He said he said it in like there was a major moment and then he said it in like a sentence like quickly because I just happened to be like cooking. So I had it really loud and I was like because I had the volume up louder. I was like, did he just say what I thought he said? And then it was just like he said it and then he was right on the next topic. Um, Ian Sterling. So, I mean, it just was like, oh, OK. Yeah. So I definitely yeah, narration like, said that it. out because yeah. the narration usually isn't vital information. Yeah, It's usually he's just making a joke and he actually said something that would matter. <laughs> Yeah, that I don't like that actually. I have a complaint. I like the file yeah. complaint, Love Island. Like we we need, a, we need a, yeah, we need a text. We need something that's concrete. Should have been a text. Yes. Should have been a text. <laughs> Listen, we got a better show. Walk away from that chick on Paradise the other night. She at least talked to Jesse. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh what was it? Becca? Becca. <laughs> it's like, come on. That's the second, like, like just see you later. We've seen on an island this week in our coverage with like no video representation of like right. anyone getting an explanation. <clears throat> um, I've been mentioned the recoupling. We've kind of I've already mentioned the three that we've gotten, but I do want to solidify that it's out there. It's Carrington and Kira. So they said we avoided the Kira uh kind of two for uh Mike and Imani and then Courtney and Johnny. Um it's going to be really interesting to see how the remaining uh, Islanders recouple. Where are we? And as far as an elimination, are they going to start talking end game soon? I know we're getting into Monday. It should just be, this should be like the last week. Right. So yeah, I think you said it was the 16th, right? That's what they had said on the thing I read, but I mean, I could be wrong, but I think it's, I don't think yeah, I'm kind of hoping it is. I'm, I'm ready for like a night off, but yeah, four, four, four days. I, I don't know how they can bring in three people. And then it's just like, Oh, by the way, it's over in four days. Because Jess is just going to pick Ray. Yeah. So it's not like any crazy like shift. No, I agree. Um, Yeah, no, I agree. I was just going to see if there said 17 total episodes. So there's only six more left. Six more. Yeah. So we'll get and I wonder if that count that that doesn't count. It wasn't around. There was an unseen bits, right? That was episode. No, 10, that counted. So. That was episode 10. Maybe there's only 15 episodes. I mean, there's 17 total, so yeah, we have 12 through 17. I maybe one unseen bits in there too. Yeah, I doubt okay. it, but yeah, I mean, I like it. Um, shout out to everybody who's been commenting here and on TikTok for the Love Island coverage. Um, shout out to our other podcast, our buddy Kyle, now watching Love Island games. He was texting me today. He was on episode seven or eight, so uh, mm-hmm. he'll be caught okay. up soon. We will catch him on, get him on a review before we get to episode 16. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of other stuff going on in the channel, obviously. Just check out all of our playlists from Love Island to Bachelor to wow. CBS Wednesdays to any other Netflix reality shows. There is Squid Games coming out in about 10 days. We will be covering that. Uh, we just saw that Amazon dropped some crazy James Bond Amazing Race looking show. So we will binge watch the episodes and we'll get a review out of that for you guys this week. Um, yeah, Bravo shows, Winter House, Southern Charm. We will have Vanderpump back when it comes back. Brian's doing a few different love and hip hops. We just finished a little bit of coverage on Big Brother. So like I said, really, if you're into anything reality TV, we guys got you covered one way or another. Um, But for myself, Brian, and everyone at The Reality Guys, thank you for watching. Peace.